Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about something relevant and important. Uh, not this, but I'm going to talk about stars. Just keep watching. When you stargaze in a dark white sky, you see these dazzling dots scattered all over. But these little ones are more interesting than you may think. Let's start with basics. A star is a massive and extremely hot ball of dust and gases such as hydrogen, helium, and other ones held together by gravity. Its central core generates an enormous amount of energy. This energy eventually travels out from the center of the star, where it's released as heat and visible light. Stars can come in variable sizes, temperatures, and colors. Many of them are located in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Not again. One of the most recognized stars is, of course, the Sun. It's a specific kind of star known as a yellow dwarf. Well, because it's yellow. But also, the scientific term dwarf refers to a star that's neither giant nor small. Basically, a dwarf star is a normal sized star with an average mass. Actually, the mass is responsible for determining the lifetime of a star. In fact, the larger the star is, the quicker the fuel consumption of the gases. Massive stars live shorter than small stars because of their large rate of fuel consumption, even though they contain an enormous amount of gases. What actually happens when these are sold out? Well, a nuclear fusion is the alliance of two small atomic nuclei to form a single large nucleus. When it cannot hold the core against its own gravity, the core collapses and explodes, causing a phenomenon to appear called the supernova. Let's move on a little bit to what we can actually see. Many people think that when they observe stars, they see their actual image at the moment. But that's theoretically not true. Suppose a star is 100 light years away from the Earth. Therefore, the light coming from the star takes roughly 100 years to reach the Earth. So, if in the meantime a star dies, we could still be able to see that star in the sky. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that next time you will look deeply behind the story of those white moons.